Hello everyone and welcome to Ask Fluke 5! Five? Is it? I think it's five. It's probably five. Uh, first of all, these. Um, I will say a lot of people wanted me to put these on because they were like, do you actually have goggles like on your Minecraft skin? And I was like, yes. Um, from a film that we did. Um, and they were like, put them on at the beginning. So I was like, okay. So look, I actually legitimately have goggles. Which is cool. I I don't know. They're they're fun to have. I don't really wear them much. Anyway, ask Fluke five questions. Right. Um. Okay. Sydney Hoang says brackets a potato. This is asked by a potato. The question is, are you a potato? And about thirty question marks. No. Tony Brown. What are some life goals you have in mind? Not personal, I'd rather not be nosy. And what is the funniest thing you've done to either or experience with Rage slash Hollow? Life goal, direct movies, act in movies, do things with movies or TV shows. I'd love to make a great TV show, um, but whether that happens, who knows. Um, funniest experience with either London was pretty great because that was the first time that the three of us had spent a proper day together. Um, I, I'm taking these off. I'm sorry. They're really uncomfortable, okay? Like, what? Anyway, it was a funny experience. Uh, yeah, London was great. Um, I was, it was all round the day was great. Uh, Prance Dancer. Hello, Fluke. I'm a huge fan of you and everyone else in your group thing. Thanks. I want to know do you have any weird talents? I can put my foot behind my head. Can you do anything funny, weird like that? We were doing this on stream the other day, actually. We were going through funny, weird talents. I'm kind of double-jointed in places. Like, fingers can bend really far back, and I can do this weird thing with my arms where I get it round, but I can't do that because I'm sitting down, and I would have to move away from the camera, and too much effort. Uh, JJ, are you looking forward to Eurogamer? Well, I am. I think the games are going to be great and the convention is going to be great, but for those who follow on Twitter, there was a bet that was made recently which I lost, which was a fan vote, and now I have to go to the convention as Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite, which isn't going to be fun. <laughs> Nick gets. Do you drive? If you do, what car do you have? Uh, I don't drive. Um, I think growing up in London where I've got all this public transport and it's loads cheaper than like insuring a male on a car when he's young. You know, I will learn to drive. I am going to learn to drive soon, but at the minute I do not. Uh, Marcus Flax, hey Fluke, when you went to America, did you did any American girls like you because of your accent and looks? I know American girls like English accents. I've never been to America. Um, I, I think you saw someone else and mistook them for me, Marcus, but I have never been to America. Uh, I would love to go. Um, Natasha Barker, hey Fluke, you have an awesome channel, and yeah, here's my questions. One, worst game you've ever played? Puzzle Pirates. Uh, two, will you ever play Deadpool? Yes, some point. Three, how's your day been so far? It's been pretty good. I built a desk to feel manly. Um, mainly to deal with the whole fact that the Elizabeth costume thing, but let's gloss over that. Thanks. Epic. Hello, Fluke. I have a question for you. On Rage's q and I asked what he would call the gang. Hollow Evans X. He said he would call it the crew, and I thought it was a very uncreative name. What would you call the gang from Epic Smiley Face? I don't know. I think the, the crew is a terrible name as well. I think we need a name. Guys, think of a name for our group, okay? As a collective, we need a name. Jack Towel. Fluke, have you ever been to Canada? If not, you would you want to? And if you want to, what place in Canada? I would love to go to Canada. Anywhere in Canada, really. Preferably not the French-speaking places, mainly because I don't speak any French. So I would have a much easier time in the English-speaking parts. Uh, Tomomi Z, Fluke, I was wondering if you like Harvest Moon, and if so, which is your favourite thing? Which is... W what is your favourite? This has been Tomomi Iziach Zach sighing off. Sighing off. Um, I don't really have a favourite. I really... Like, I heard great things about the games, um, and I used to play on my sister's DS. Like, I played one of them that she had, and... Yeah, I mean... Any of them. They seem fun to kill time on. Aaron Ruiz, I've seen most of the streams and noticed your voice changer. I just wanted to know what it is called. It is called Morph Vox. Um, and I would do a little bit now, but to do that I would have to stop the camera and Audacity and then 
like do that. So I can't, but I'll put a little clip of me using it at the end of this video. So if you want to see my voice changing, you can do it there. And I use it on streams occasionally to annoy the others. Uh, Zedis at Gaming, what is your favourite accent and will you do more songs in the future? I really enjoy the Twitter song and you are a good singer. Thank you. Um, my favourite accent, I don't really have a favourite accent, really, if I'm honest. Um, like, I kind of, you know, all accents are cool, all accents are interesting. Um, I like my accent, but you never really hear your own accent, but I just sound like an English person, really. Will I do more songs in the future? Yeah! Um, that was like, uh, the song Cut For Evans, was <laughs> a song I did whilst hangover in about 30 minutes, so I was like, I really need to put up a video today, and uh, I didn't know what to do. So, I'm glad it went down well, and I don't play guitar. Like, as you can probably tell, like, there were some comments where it was like, you're not, you're not worthy for an Epiphone and all this stuff, and I was just like, it's my brother's guitar, I'm a drummer, um, that pretends to play on instruments. Um, but maybe more. Teresa Pizzo, hey, I was just wondering if you play Pokemon. If yes, what is your favourite Pokemon, and what Pokemon would you like to be drawn as? I'm currently doing a comic about it if you guys were transformed into Pokemon, and I'd love some input. Smiley face. Tell the other guys about it if you can, because my idiot friend slipped a jump scare link into the email I sent when I walked away. This is getting a little bit... So I doubt they'll answer. I need to stop just copy pasting things into my little questiony thing. Um, favorite Pokemon? I don't know. Really? Um, I used. Oh god! I used to have a poster on my wall of the original 151 or whatever. But um, I don't really have a favorite. I mean, what? I, I'll ask the others, they'll prob hopefully watch this video, and they can reply in the comments, but, I mean, my favourite would potentially be... Who's the fire wolf one? <laughs> yeah! Pokemon knowledge. Right, Candy. Fluke, if you could travel forward in time to a specific event in your life, what day would you travel to? Uh, I would travel to... Does it have to be in my life? Like, can I not go beyond the day I die? Because I would like to just see other things but um maybe I would just travel forward 20 years and I would see what position my life was in and then if it sucks I would do some things to try and stop it sucking Libman, hello Mr. Fluke. One, what's the best indie game you've played so far? Two, how much wood would wood chuck chuck if wood chuck could chuck wood? One, uh, best indie game I have played so far? I mean Minecraft is obviously the good one to go to but I really enjoyed Limbo. Um, I really want to play Bastion, I haven't got around to playing it yet. Prison Simulator is one that's recent and I'm really enjoying. Bitrip Runner. Um, I play quite a few indie games. They're great to just install timely and just kill time in. Uh, and what was two? Oh yeah, how much wood, wood, wood chuck, chuck? However much the woodchuck could chuck wood, I believe. It depends on the quality of the woodchuck and the weight of the wood. Um, Arrow, hey Fluke, I'm a big fan and I love your accent. I was wondering if you would wear a hat. Thanks, Arrow. It depends on the weather or the hat-related conditions. Really? It, I can wear hats. My head is not too misshapen to wear a hat. Uh, Quinn Wilson, Fluke, what happened to your Left 4 Dead episode? You only uploaded one episode and I think you kind of forgot about it. Wish you like better pancake or waffles. P.S. I love your videos. They cheer me up. It, thanks. Thanks? Yeah. It, thanks. Um... Yeah, yeah, I did one episode and I had the second one like ready. Um, and that was around the time I first started coming back to the channel because I was with, uh, in that video, was Power and Zoben, who are kind of, they're my friends but not really of the crew. And um, yeah, I would do, I want to do more of that. I need to put the second part up. I will. The second part's better than the first part as well. It was loads funnier. I mean, not saying the first part was, you know what I mean, okay? Uh, pancakes or waffles? <sighs> Pancakes? I would say pancakes with sugar and lemon in. Delicious. But I know that the English have different pancakes to American pancakes. So, Jimita Schmitter. Nice name. Skimita. Skimita. How do you pronounce that? Like, you know, the curved sort of... Anyway, what sort of animations did you do and where can we find them? I did terrible stick animations in about 2005 on Newgrounds.com. Um... And I will, I will put a link in the info. I was never great. I was about 14 when I did them. Um, and I was really proud. I got like four animations up on Newgrounds. And then I kind of just stopped. And I really wish I'd continued because I might have some semblance of quality now. But I I didn't. Dr. Beefling, are you into MMORPGs? And if so, what one is your favourite? Mine is Silco Rad R. Um, kind of. Normally my experience with MMOs was I would spend like two days on the character maker and then 
uh, get to about level 20 and then drop off because everyone else was already at level 60 and they wouldn't want to do the war zones or like the PvP with me. So <laughs> I was always left alone as a child. Um, I've never heard of Silco Rad R. Um, I'm sure it's great. Sounds Silk Road. Hmm. Res Crash, have you ever thought about doing other types of videos beside the normal gaming vlog type videos now you're getting more into film? Yes, that is what that uh, chivalry thing was. I wanted to test the water of putting out something where it was filmed, mainly. It was half filmed, half game footage, half montage. Um, and it went down really well, and now I'm really excited about the prospect of doing more filmy things. I know we'll be filming lots at Eurogamer, um, and we're going to be filming a sketch as well, which has been written... Uh, or is being written for us by fans and stuff. Um, but we are definitely, well, I'm definitely going to be filming more things. Yeah, cool. Right, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for the questions and watching and everything. Send more questions, emails down there, maybe with other links, I'm not sure, the things I've previously mentioned. Uh, and I will see you later. Laters!